fascinating secrets lie within SpaceX's Starship. Fasten your seatbelt as we embark on a journey to unveil the futuristic Marvel's mysteries. From cutting-edge tech to cosmic ambitions, discover what fuels this spacefaring titan in ways you never imagined. Exploring the interior of SpaceX's Starship As we move into the inner workings of the SpaceX Starship, it's essential to recognize the significant departure it represents from traditional spacecraft designs. Unlike the compact crew capsules of the past, the Starship boasts a 9-meter diameter, a colossal structure promising a departure from the cramped quarters astronauts have endured in previous space missions. Elon Musk envisions the Starship as more than just a vessel. It's a futuristic craft designed to transport thousands of individuals on a six-month voyage to colonize Mars. The challenge lies in creating an environment that balances functionality with comfort, considering the extended duration of interplanetary travel. Our expectations for the Starship's interior draw inspiration from a diverse array of sci-fi spaceships. While the Starship Enterprise presents a vision of luxury condos for its crew, the Millennium Falcon opts for a more utilitarian, patchwork design suited for space pirates. Ideally, the SpaceX Starship would find a middle ground, providing sufficient room and amenities to prevent claustrophobia during the journey to Mars and back. Determining the ideal number of crew members is a crucial consideration. Each person on board consumes vital resources, such as food and water, impacting the overall load capacity of the Starship. Additionally, the mental health and well-being of the crew become significant factors during extended interplanetary missions. Experts tend to converge on a crew size of 10 as the sweet spot for a successful Starship mission to Mars. Elon Musk's proposal to send 100 people at once raises concerns about resource allocation and potential psychological challenges, making a smaller crew size seem more prudent for the voyage. Measuring 50 metres in length and with a 9 metre diameter that tapers to a point at the nose, the Starship's dimensions are influenced by both functionality and Elon Musk's sense of humour. The pointed nose, inspired by a scene from The Dictator, reduces interior volume but leaves ample space for essential components. The lower section of the Starship is dedicated to rocket components, including six Raptor engines, potentially upgraded to nine, three sea-level engines for landing burns, and six vacuum engines for orbital manoeuvres. Above this, a common dome houses massive propellant tanks marking the transition to the cargo and crew section. Estimating around 17 meters of length for the upper section, it makes sense to divide this into six vertical levels. The distribution of height across each level is crucial, with higher ceilings in the cargo bay and lower in the crew section, providing around two and a half meters of space for individuals to navigate comfortably inside the SpaceX Starship. Continuing our exploration of the SpaceX Starship, Let's explore the intricate details of its internal architecture. As this mammoth spacecraft aims to make a vertical landing on Mars, strategic design choices are imperative. Maintaining a low center of gravity becomes paramount, leading use to Invision, the first floor primarily dedicated to the cargo bay. Upon reaching Mars, pioneers will require essential resources for survival, from rovers and robots to various supplies. Envisaging the lowest level as a storage hub for these necessities, we anticipate the presence of life support systems, power generators, and a ground elevator, essential for easy access to and from the ship given the Starship's towering height. Moving up to the second level, we anticipate a space reserved for food storage and essential supplies. Perhaps an innovative addition could be a hydroponic garden, facilitating the growth of fresh vegetables such as leafy greens, Additionally, this level may house the lift system necessary for seamless movement within the spacecraft. Ensuring the physical well-being of the crew during extended space journeys is vital. The third level might be designated as a fitness area and bathroom facility. Maintaining physical fitness becomes critical in microgravity, a lesson learned from astronauts on the International Space Station. Here, they engage in daily exercise routines, including cardio and resistance training, using specialized equipment such as strap-down treadmills and stationary bicycles. Given the constraints of zero gravity, traditional post-workout rituals like showers are replaced by wiping down with wet towels and utilizing dry shampoo. And of course, there's the unique challenge of the space toilet, a crucial element perfected through iterations in SpaceX's Dragon capsule design. Ascending to the fourth level, we reach the crew quarters. While not opulent, 
the sheer volume of the Starship allows for reasonably sized compartments. Drawing inspiration from capsule hotels in Japan, these living spaces might be arranged in a vertical orientation, maximizing the available space efficiently. Moving further up, the fifth level could serve as a common area. Despite the narrowing of the ship's nose, ample space should be available for occupants to float around and relax. Picture a room with a large viewing window wrapping around it, offering a breathtaking panorama of the cosmos. This level becomes a communal hub for crew members to unwind and share experiences. The topmost floor, constrained by the tapering design, would serve as the command deck. Here, crew members would strap into chairs for launch and landing, even though the Starship primarily operates autonomously. This level may host essential flight controls, ensuring a human touch in critical situations. Connecting all these levels is a central column, a tubular structure facilitating easy travel between floors in zero gravity. On Earth and Mars, a ladder would be available for navigation. This central column would not only house plumbing and wiring, but also provide structural integrity to the core of the spacecraft, powering the SpaceX Starship. In dissecting the intricacies of the SpaceX Starship, a critical challenge emerges, sustaining the spacecraft with continuous power and ventilation. The key dilemma revolves around sourcing a substantial amount of electricity with no straightforward solution in sight. One plausible avenue is solar energy, a dependable source that currently powers the International Space Station, ISS. However, the ISS's colossal solar arrays, eight primary wings measuring 112 feet in length and 39 feet in width, pose a logistical challenge when envisioning their application on the Starship. Deploying such an extensive solar panel array after launch becomes impractical, leading to the consideration of constructing a solar panel module in space. This module could be attached to the Starship post-refueling in orbit. Yet, complications arise with the diminishing efficiency of solar panels as the distance from the Sun increases. The solution may involve even larger solar arrays, a prospect that complicates the already intricate plan. Furthermore, landing on Mars with such a setup presents additional challenges, urging the need for a more streamlined approach. Another avenue involves the utilization of batteries, an idea influenced by Elon Musk's association with Tesla. Leveraging Tesla's advanced battery pack, specifically the Powerwall, a dedicated energy storage product capable of sustaining an average household for a day, proves promising. Carrying an inventory of these battery packs alongside a more manageable solar array could potentially power the Starship for six months. Recharging these power walls on Mars using ground-based solar arrays would prepare the spacecraft for its return journey. However, the weight of these batteries, approximately 250 pounds per unit, becomes a significant drawback. The cumulative weight hampers the usable cargo capacity of the Starship, introducing challenges to the prospect of Mars colonization. Hydrogen fuel cells emerge as a third prospect, offering a potential solution to the power conundrum. These fuel cells convert hydrogen gas into electricity while producing water as a byproduct, a dual benefit. Hydrogen, being the lightest element known, aligns with the spacecraft's quest for efficiency. The feasibility of scaling up hydrogen fuel cell technology, already successful in powering cars, makes it a strong candidate for the Starship's energy needs. Thanks for watching.